Here's another example of how to solve a rational inequality. Uh, inequality, because we have inequality sign, rational simply means that it's in a fractional form. And what's different about this one is that the quantity on the right side is not equal to zero, like we saw before. In this case, you actually have something on the right side. And what do you do with this? The first thing you always do is change this so that it looks like this. In other words, that's so you have a zero on the right side, which means we have to move the four to the other side. X divided by X minus three minus four less than or equal to zero. You're not done yet because you want this whole left side to be in a simple fractional form, which means you have to combine those two terms. Since four is the same as four over one, you will have to find the common denominator, which means that on the right here, you have to multiply both the top and the bottom by x minus 3, so that the denominators will be the same. So this is 4 times x minus 3 and 1 times x minus 3. Notice, as a quick check, you can always quickly divide x minus 3 into x minus 3, which means that's equal to 1, and you end up with what you started with. So always a quick check. Now that everything is written over a common denominator, you can write this as x minus 4 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. And finally, uh, multiplying this out, you get x minus 4x minus 4 times the minus 3 is a plus 12 divided by x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. And combining like terms, you end up with minus 3x plus 12 divided by x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. You can do one more thing here. Notice that in the numerator, you have a common factor of 3. So you can factor out the 3. And if you do that, you end up with minus 3 times x minus 4 divided by x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Again, as a quick check to make sure you didn't make any mistakes, Multiply this back in. Minus 3 times x gives you minus 3x, and a minus 3 times a minus 4 gives you a positive 12. So we didn't make any mistakes. And now you realize that you can divide the left side and the right side by 3. So divide the left side by 3, divide the right side by 3. This 3 cancels out this 3, so you end up with a minus 1 times x minus 4 divided by x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0, because 0 divided by 3 is still 0. Now you're ready to go ahead and solve the problem. What that means is you're trying to find all the values for x that satisfy that inequality. So the first thing you do is to realize that since you have a denominator, that x minus 3 cannot equal 0. Because if the denominator equals 0, you have an undefined fraction. Moving the negative 3 over, that means that x has to not be equal to the positive 3. All right, the next thing you can do then is to write the equivalent equation by changing the inequality into an equal sign. So that's minus 1 times x minus 4 divided by x minus 3 is equal to 0. And here you can then say that if a fraction is equal to 0, that means the numerator must equal 0. And so minus 1 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. Dividing both sides by negative 1. The negative ones cancel out, so you end up with x minus 4 is equal to 0, or x equals 4. There is your other critical point. x equals 3 and x equals 4 are the two points that delineate the regions that will define the solutions to your inequality. To find out what those regions look like, we draw a number line. Here's the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, negative 1, negative 2, and so forth. So x equals 3 is a solution. Notice that it cannot equal 3, so I have to draw a hollow circle. And x equals 4 is also one of the solutions. And since I have an equal sign along with the less than equal sign, then we have to draw a solid circle on the number 4 because 4 is part of the solution. Now we can see that we have three regions. We have region 1 to the left of 3. We have region 2 between the numbers 3 and 4, and we have region 3 to the right of the number 4. And now we have to, of course, take a test point out of each region to see if those regions satisfy the inequality. 
Starting with region number one, we're going to let x equal zero. As always, if you can plug in zero for x, that's the easiest. So looking at our initial inequality, we can say zero divided by zero minus three. Is that less than or equal to four? Question mark. And of course, no matter what the denominator is, the numerator is always zero. Zero is always less than four, so the answer is yes. That means everything to the left of the number three is part of the solution. All right, two more regions to go. For region number two, we're going to let x equal 3.5, halfway between 3 and 4. We plug that into our inequality. 3.5 divided by 3.5 minus 3, is that less than or equal to 4? Question mark. Simplifying this a little bit, we can say 3.5 divided by 3 minus 3.5, which is 0 0.5, less than or equal to 4. And of course, 3.5 divided by half is 7. So the question is, is 7 less than or equal to 4? And the answer is no. 7 definitely is not smaller than 4, which means that every point between 3 and 4 is not part of the solution. So we can just cross that out. And finally, for region number 3, we're going to let x equal 5, plug that back into the original equation, or I should say inequality. So 5 divided by 5 minus 3, is that less than or equal to 4? Question mark. So 5 div minus 3 is 2. 5 divided by 2, less than or equal to 4? Question mark. And 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So 2.5 less than or equal to 4? Question mark. And the answer is yes, that is less than 4. So that means that any value to the right of 4 in this region number 3 is also part of the solution. So the total solution is all values to the left of 3, smaller than 3, not including 3, and all values to the right of 4, including 4, are part of the solution. And that's how you solve these types of rational inequalities.